now we will discuss cube roots which is our another important topic when you compare cube roots with the square roots they are very very easy cube roots can be easily said by just looking at the numbers provided condition that you are should be you should be thorough with the cubes until 1 to 10 or 11 and at the same time you should be thorough with the table which i am which i have written on the board what is this table let us discuss now Suppose if uh, these are the set of cubes ending in digits and these are the cube roots ending in digits. Suppose if a cube number is ending in 1, its cube root should end in 1 only. 4 means 4 only. Means for example, let us take some uh, 11 cube. 11 cube is how much? 1331. Three, now you tell me, this is a cube number ending in 1. So its cube root is also ending 1 only. That's what I mean to say. If a cube number is ending in 1, its cube root should end in 1 only. If a cube number is ending in 4, its cube root should end in 4. 6, 6, 9, 9, 5, 5, 0, 0. So for all these numbers until 0, okay, they will get the same digits as it is. Even the cube numbers ending in the cube roots ends in. Both the digits are same. For which numbers? For which digits? 1, 4, 6, 9, 5, 0. So for these num these digits 1 4 6 9 suppose if a cube number is cube number is ending in 1 4 6 5 6 5 9 0 digits the cube root is also ends in the same digits 1 4 6 5 9 0 okay but only for two, two digits it will differ suppose if a cube number is ending in 2 its cube root should end in 8 if a cube number is ending in 8 its cube root should end in 2 3 7 7 3 like this okay so if you are very good at this table and very good at the cubes until 10 it's very easy to calculate the cube roots now let us uh, discuss how to find out the cube root of a number with an example come here now what is the first step what is the first and foremost step to find out a cube root just like in the square root okay what is the first step? We did the partition from the right side 2 to d's, right? But here we are going to do the partition of a number 3 3 d's from the right side since the cube is nothing but to the power of 3. Okay, so start from the right side. First, I am going to do the 3 digit partition. Next, again 3 digit, but there are no 3 d's. So take the remaining 2 d's as it is. Nothing will happen. Okay, now you tell me what is the second step? Second step is the cube number is ending in which digit? 7. If a cube number is ending in 7, its cube root should end in 3. So, the ending digit of the answer is 3. Okay. Now, come to the second partition. Second partition is 35. 35 comes between which cube numbers? Which cube numbers? That is, 35 comes between 3 cube and 4 cube. Yes or no? 3 cube is 27. 4 cube is 64. So, 35 comes between 3 cube and 4 cube. But we okay always have to take the lesser number only that is 3 so my answer is 33 just like that why because just like in square roots there are no possibilities okay there is no need of checking either this number or the uh, which of the two numbers are uh, correct answer okay here we are we are going to get only one possibility so directly you can say the answer okay first of all what is the first step make the partition into three three digits what is the second step check what is the last digit of the cube number it is 7 if a last digit of the cube number is ending in 7 its cube root should end in its cube root should end in 3 you need to remember that one okay now what is the last step check the second partition number that is 35 comes between which square cube which cube numbers okay 35 comes between 3 cube and 4 cube that is 27 and 64 yes or no but we have to take always the lesser number only. So what is my answer? 3. That is the complete answer is 33. What is the cube root of 3? 5, 9, 3, 7, 33. Like that. Now one more example I will do. Okay. So let us take uh, the second one. Make the partition 3, 3 digits. Okay. The first step. Second step. Ending in 2. So cube root should end in 8 only. Okay. Now what is the second step? The 110, that is a second partition number, 110, comes between which cubes? Uh, comes between uh, 4 cube and 5 cube. Yes or no? That is 60, between 64 and 125. But always we have to take the lesser number. So my answer is 48. That's it. Okay. Now you do one thing. Take a pause on the video. Okay. 
after taking this see you solve some problems okay these four problems you need to solve okay to solve that one please take a pass on the video note down all the numbers and solve the cube roots after taking out the pass you can check the answers okay now i'm going to solve this one first three digits and three digits start from the right side so uh, cube number is ending in six so cube root should end in six only if a cube number is ending in six the cube root also ends in six only now come to the second partition 438 438 comes between 7 cube and 8 cube sr yes now 7 cube is 343 8 cube is 512 so 438 comes between 7 cube and 8 cube that is 343 and 512 only but here always take the less number so answer is 36 that's it sorry always take the lesser number what is the lesser number here 7 so my answer is 76 okay now here 3 digits 3 digits so cube number is ending in 8 so cube root should end in 2 238 comes between uh, 238 comes between uh, it's i think it's 5 cube and no no 6 cube and 7 cube yes 6 cube and 7 cube 216 it is 343 exactly now but lesser number so 62 is my answer see even just by looking at the numbers only we can say the answer so first of all 330 is partition okay ending in 4 so ends in 4 only 830 comes between uh, 9 cube and 10 cube but we have to go for 9 so my answer is 94 so here 3 digits and the remaining 2 digits at a time so cube number is ending in 4 so cube root ends in 4 only so cube root of 13284 so the last digit is ending in 4 so if it is ending in 4 cube root also ends in 4 come to the second partition 13 13 comes between 13 comes between 2 cube and 3 cube but we have to go for lesser number so my answer is 24 right so like this easily we can solve the square roots and cube roots provided condition we should be thorough with the tables which i have given on the board and at the same time we should be thorough with the squares until 30 and cubes until 10 okay so like this we can easily calculate the square roots and cube roots okay